Hi everyone, uh, I'm Nathan Putnam. I'm the Director of Metadata Quality at OCLC and I'm here with... Laura Ramsey, Section Manager of WorldCat Metadata Quality. And we're going to kind of do a very brief high-level overview of merging records uh, in WorldCat, including some programs that we're offering to our member libraries. But first, we're going to start with some basic statistics. Yeah, here's a, a slide that shows our stats just to give you a sense of how many records we merge within a month. And the first category we have, the DDR merges. DDR stands for Duplicate Detection and Resolution, and that is our automated program that merges duplicates. <clears throat> and when records are added to WorldCat or significant changes are made to WorldCat, those records get into our DDR queue, and then those records are compared for against existing records in WorldCat to see if they're duplicates, and they get merged automatically. So you can see in December, we merged over 2.1 million records. In the fiscal year count so far, 8.5 million records merged by DDR. Our next category, OCLC staff merges, some of those over there. Um, those are our metadata quality staff that manually review and merge records. And in December, we merged 21,108 records, and then almost 400,000 since July of 2018. And I'll just add to that that this is all manual merging, so these are people looking at every single one of these transactions. And then our last category, our member merges. That comes from our member merge project, which Nathan is going to talk about here shortly. And our members in December merged 993 records. And since July of 2018, 7,095 records. Yay! Okay. So that kind of gives you an idea of the numbers. What we're going to do now is to have a little quiz. And if you already merge, you're not allowed to answer this question. We're going to take a look at some records, and I'm going to have you tell me whether or not you think these records are duplicates and should be merged. So the first one we have, this is a shot from worldcat.org. Do it with an ISBN search, and you can see that we have several entries that look suspicious, like, hmm, are these the same thing? Um, Wayward, Volume 4, and both published in 2017. So let's take a look at the mark view of these records. And I'm going to give a pause here and take a look at the two records and compare them. And when you have an answer, raise your hand and let me know, should these records be merged or not? We have head shaking. Yes, they should be merged. Does anyone think no? Everyone's settled, studying very closely. <laughs> She's on to us. So any other thoughts? Would you merge these or not? We do okay, have a we have, no, we have, a, we yeah. have some mixed reviews. Yeah. All right. If um, the staff are reviewing these, yes, they would merge these two records. And even though we have some differences here, and we have volume spelled out in subfield N, subfield P, versus volume abbreviated here, different subfielding. Oops. And then we do have a difference in place of publication. However, since that's in the same country, we consider that to be a minor difference. So. <clears throat> Excuse me, so we would merge these two records. <clears throat> Going on to the next one, another ISBN search <clears throat> for Charles Dickens and the Blacking Factory. And you can see we have 2011 publication and 2012 publication. So we're going to take a look at a few of the MARC records from 2011. And I'll give a moment. Do, 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 do. You didn't sing last night when we were rehearsing this, so this is, <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> okay, I see mostly no. Oh, I see a oh, really adamant no back there. He's like, no. Any, would anyone merge them? Now you're probably afraid to say yes, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you merge them? You're like, two different languages, right? We have German language of cataloging. In English, that's a big, uh, big no-no. And you can also see not only from the 040, but the citing for pages versus pages. And the 33x fields show the different um, terms in the different languages. So you are right. We would not merge these. <coughs> but people do report these to us. So, um, so that kind of gives you a, a sense of what we do when we're manually reviewing and, and uh, analyzing records for merging, and that's just a tip of the iceberg. It's much more complicated than that. We don't have time to go into 
all the details, but that gives you an idea of mm -hmm. what the staff do <clears throat> and our member merge libraries do. So now what we're going to do is we have a short video to show you, and that actually will show you the, the mechanics are, that are behind merging, and we use Connection Client to merge these records. So here we go. Hello, and welcome to a merging duplicate WorldCat records and Connection Client overview video. I'm Shana, and I'm with OCLC Metadata Quality. I'm going to demonstrate using the merge menu, which will include linking and merging records from a single record display. So I bring up the records that I want to compare. To view the records side by side. So Shana right here is demonstrating what she's doing. I, you can't really hear it, but. I look at each record to ensure that they are for the same manifestation. She's comparing both records. Any fields that I would want to manually transfer not allow to automatically transfer or any corrections that may need to be made that are appropriate for the manifestation. In this case, I can see that one of the records is incorrectly coded as type T. All the descriptive elements match between both records. So the descriptive elements and match even between the two records? Though the encoding level M has more holdings the merge and matrix we do take into account our holdings in there, the encoding level blank record but we're going to re retain the blank, and it's a National Library of New Zealand record. With NZ and B. Once it is determined that the records are duplicates, there are a couple so of Shana has decided that these are duplicates, the and she's going to merge them. You can click Merge and either select Link Bid Dialog or Add to Link Bid. For this set of records, I'm going to choose Link Bib Dialog. Once the dialog box is open, I can manually enter the record numbers, retain record first, and click add or copy the control number and paste it in the box and select add or hit enter. The retained record is the record that is next to the asterisk. Then I will click Link Bibs. This will display the records in a linked bibs list and the retained record will show in slot number one. If all looks good, select merge and then merge. You will notice that the record number of the record that we just merged now appears in the 019 field of the retained record. And so we, Shana just removed a duplicate from WorldCat through that little video. Um, we put together a lot of videos for our members on different formats and things like that, and I, some of you I know have seen them. Um, and this is one of the ways that we train member libraries to merge records. So we have been offering, um, it's been going on for about five years, but we have three groups, three cohorts that have gone through our member merge program. And those libraries are trained uh, at an institution level to merge records within WorldCat and they're given the appropriate authorizations and we set them up with connection. You, you know, it, those of you not participating, you know you don't have that merge, whoops, you know you don't have that merge menu thing up there. So um, <coughs> we are, uh, we've had, like I said, we have three institute or three cohorts that have gone through about 20 or so institutions that are merging records um, every year they do more and more like uh, the stats said at the beginning we had about 7,000 um, that was six months right in that six month time period and we expect to continue to the grow um, what's really fun about cohort three is that we actually have an institution training another institution, which takes some of the burden off of OCLC because there's only so many of us in metadata quality. And so as we continue to expand this, we're hoping to get more and more um, institutions also training other ins uh, libraries. Um, <coughs> Here are some of the comments that we received. Uh, we have a mix of both OCLC employees and library employees. And then when we start to do questions, I'll just leave this up here so you can read some of the, um, the later ones. But uh, this is my boss. So she's an executive director, and she's been merging duplicates. And the running joke is that she's going to just wipe out all of the duplicates in WorldCat. But um, no, Marty's actually had a lot of fun. And then we have a couple of our member libraries, University of Oregon, BYU, Western Washington and um, Harvard uh, have all been participating and they've been kind enough to supply some, some quotes for us on our experience. So that's it. We'd like to thank you for joining. We would be happy to answer any questions. Um, if you or your institution ultimately is interested in merging records, um, we, have a, we have an email address. I think many of you know, askqcas.com. K Q C at OCLC.org. You can email that. 
uh, and, and say, hey, I'm interested in doing this, because we'll probably start cohort four sometime in the summer, August, September, something like that, um, once we get done with cohort three. So with that, we'll just open it up to questions.